Hi and welcome to Lifetime Tutorial Develop in Visual Basic. Okay, right here I have one of those components known as a date time picker. So I've got two of those. So what will happen is if I change the date of birth, let's say this guy was born in the 60s. Let's change the month as well. And let's go for that. So that's the date of birth, and that's today's date. All we just need to do is click on total. There we go. So that's his age, the number of weeks spent on health, number of days on health, and number of hours spent so far. That's that's four hundred and. 96,320 now we look at the number of minutes spent on health then the number of seconds spent on health you can also reset to check out someone else's details let's say this guy was born 81 and we just leave that the way it is check and there so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now. There. Welcome back to Visual Basic. Let's click on New Project and give that the name VB. Now the form is ready. Let's define the size of the form to 1360 by 780. There. The next thing is come right here to toolbox. Inside the toolbox, we need date time picker. Double click on that. We have one of those there. And just hold down the control, click and drag. So we have two now. We need labels and we need buttons. I'm gonna need three of those. Just one label there. Just one button there. I'm gonna need label. Now I've got my label. One label here, another one here. Move this down and this is going to be one label here. And I need six here. In total it's gonna to be twelve there. Yes. And we need two more. There. Okay, all the labels here. Let's change the property. I'm gonna select them all. Select all of these and change the properties as follows. Let's come right here. Auto size made that force. Control, I'm gonna change it to white. Bother style, change that to 3D and select it all there we go let's expand it that much okay we can do that in the property anyway let's come in here and just change that to about maybe 30 that's fine delete the text content in there right there there we go all right so let's move it all down and the next thing is this very one there let's change the font size to maybe let's go for 96 and change the text content and need to lifetime records there move that up all right then the next thing is i'm going to need a panel here Let's grab a panel. Yeah. One tiny little panel here. And one here. Select both panel and change the appearance of this panel. Come to auto size. Leave that the way it is. Now let's go to border start and 3D. That's fine. Grab this very upper panel 
and drag it right down drag another panel here and reduce the size of the panel to something that much bring the buttons here and just drag it that much okay if I run it this is how it looks for now this is how it all looks it looks a little bit messy so I'm gonna now speed it up right this is how it all looks now let's run it so that you guys have a good look at it all right that's how it looks but nothing is happening here okay and that the first thing I want to do is double click on this and disable btn life which is the total dot enable make that force equals force right now the next thing is let's take care of this exit button so what we happen with the very first line of code is this become disabled you see that guys okay so i may have to move this a little bit up all right so in here double click on that and let's enter as follows Dim i exit Dim i exit let's say as dialog dialog results in the case in that case i exit equals message box I prefer my exit to have a dialogue with the end user so that will be confirm confirm if you want to exit so I'm gonna call it let's just say the name is going to be life time record comma let's enter message box buttons dot yes no comma message box icon dot i'm going to use information there now what we need to do is just use let's use an if statement if that equals dot yes so if i exit equals yes then application dot exit so that takes care of the lines of code for exit this very one okay guys have a good look at it it's, it's user friendly okay that's it so if end user mistakenly click on this ah uh, no I don't want to be exit okay that's fine now so let's come back in here double click on this very false date and time picker double click on it this very one I would like it to enable btn live alive dot enable equals true so that means once the content inside that component is changed that button becomes true so if we run it If I did change anything in there now, you see that that enables it. Okay. Now that we've taken care of one, we'll take care of this later on. But let's take care of the reset to make things easier a little bit. All right, this very one, I'm going to copy this paste that in there so that's going to be dot value equals that will be date dot now so set it back to today's so I'm just going to copy that and that will be for the second one the second one that is set good and I also need to disable this button let's disable that very button come down here and make it false 
okay so that's taken care of now let's reset all of the labels so for the labels I'm going to use loop for each LBL in anti-coiler brushes there so the first one is going to be LBL there that's fine comma and let's go for another LBL there LBL hour comma LBL means LBL seconds LBL weeks LBL yes alright so I've got all of them so I'm just what I need to now say is LBL dot text equals clear and that should take care of the clear button so I'll get rid of that all right have a good look at those lines of codes okay now that the reset is done let's come in here now let's take care of the total double click on the total in the total the first thing I'd like to do is Let's work out how many days first then from there so with the date that's going to be lbl day dot text equals the dot so we now need to enter total date this very one okay and let me convert that to string dot to string and if i leave it like this what will happen is it will give me decimal places so let's run it to see what i'm talking about so let's say we change this to let's go for all right so if we run it you see what i'm talking about guys so i don't want that to happen so officially 6570 days 75 days so let's come in here and we just enter open a bracket speech mark ash and and hopefully that should get rid of the decimal places within in the day so let's try it again let's go for that there all right so that is much better so the next one is let's just say lbl year lbl year dot text equals lbl day dot text now let's divide that divide by three five three six five multiply by twelve okay so let's cover this here all right so let me just speed that up so we speed that up and just there we go all right so that is well those are the lines of code for that so if we run it And let's say we we'll go for 19, 1987 and maybe change this one as well. We just need to change the no this one is fine. Let's change the month here. Maybe January, whatever, that's fine. And click on this and that is what you get. This guy has spent 30 years on out. 1000 560 weeks number of days spent number of hours spent number of minutes spent number of seconds spent okay so if I click on reset you see this is disabled we can always enter someone else's details there and just click on that all right so we we'll finish actually so what is just left is let me just change, add 
mouse enter and mouse lead to those, those buttons so let's come in here have a good look at those lines of codes that is that calculates number of days number of uh, years and so on that is it and that's the reset that's to enable the button and that's for exit form load disable the button so come in here double click no select all of this let's go to, straight to the properties events and let's come into mouse mouse leave mouse enter so let me change that it's called a change color all right we have change color now let's change color let's say dim b as button and button equals sender there b dot back color equals whatever color that you may want let's say dot i don't know what color to choose in here let's choose any color for that maybe this okay that's the color chosen i will now copy this come in here and uh, let's go for mouse leaves mouse leaf change color back press enter paste that in there but all of this has to be different dot from known color known color dot control there we go there so when the mouse enter it will change color to this when the mouse leaves it change color back to the original color so run it let's say now see the buttons mouse enter mouse leaves mouse enter mouse leaves change this to and change the month as well date mouse enter mouse leaves okay guys there so with that i'm gonna leave you guys and uh, please do subscribe that would be very encouraging if you guys subscribe and with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial but just before i leave minimize that so that you guys can have a good look at these lines of codes again Pick it up. Those are the lines of codes. So with that, bye for now.